friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today we are dehydrating kale. Okay, so I'm going to, I've got one sink just stuffed full. I still have that much more to do, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the vines or the spines out of here and throw all the stems into the garbage and then i'm going to wash the leaves and i'm going to put them in this pot of water which has no water in it just yet so let's get on that i'm sorry if everything kind of goes backwards once in a while but i have to be able um i'm filming with my phone not because my camera, oh yeah, I want to put some vinegar in this water. I don't kill any bugs. Um, it's not that my camera is broken, it's just that my computer will no longer read camera cards. And we fixed it for a while, but it's just not... Now... This is all I'm doing. And when I go to chop, I can shut this off now. When I go to chop up these kale leaves, if there is any heavy stems, I will just cut them out. If you get a big one, just kind of And we'll be back when I have this mountain of kale. Whoops. When I, we'll be back when I have this mountain of kale washed and ready for chopping. Okay, here's our kale. It's been uh, sitting in this water overnight. And now I'm going to put it in the strainer and I'm going to strain it and we're going to start chopping it. For the dehydrator. Okay, here we are. We've got four dehydrator trays. Now this doesn't look like a lot of kale and you would be close to right but it's kind of limp from sitting in water all night and also I had to take off because my kale was so um, some of it was older and tough I had to get rid of a lot of it. So but this is still tons of kale for what we want. Now this is all I'm going to do is I'm just, I'm not even going to grind it when it's dry. I'm just going to start putting it in, you know, shreds or whatever on the dehydrator trays just like this. Because this will be, now I've put some in our supper tonight. I made smothered pork chops and I'm not, I'm not videotaping it, but I made some, I put two pork chops in the, crock pot and then I see if you see any stems come up just take them out um, I put them in the crock pot and I sliced three potatoes and put on and one onion and then I dropped in a handful of fresh snap beans and a handful of shredded kale that I just shredded like this we all know how he's not being fooled anymore into thinking it's parsley so we're just going to make it small enough so that, you know, it's like little bits, but not powder. You know what I mean? So it's just now a matter. These have been washed twice in vinegar water and then soaked overnight in fresh water. So they're pretty soggy. But oh, so juicy, even though I've been draining them for the last, I don't know, hour, couple of hours. I put them to drain before I had to go to the mailbox. Kale is one of those superfoods. And dehydrated kale um, is closest you're going to get to fresh because it doesn't. you're not cooking nutrients out of it by canning it. 
So when this rehydrates in a soup, a stew, or in mashed potatoes or something, it's it's just going to add a whole bunch of nutrients that, uh, you know, especially in wintertime when we live on a lot of things like carrots, potatoes, and onions. You know what I mean? In, in the root vegetable thing. All right. When I have these trays loaded up, we'll be back. Okay. These four trays are going out into the porch. And I am not going to put them on the fruit and vegetable setting but I am not gonna put them on the herb setting. I'm gonna put them in between at 115 degrees. Why? Because I want them to dry. I don't wanna cook them. I want the nutrients to remain in the kale. All right, so we'll see you tomorrow when these come off the dehydrator. Okay, folks, I'm really sorry, but I am filming with my phone. I'm just gonna put my... Now I dried these for 24 hours on 100, between 115 and 105 because I really didn't want to um, mess with the vitamin content. And I am not going to powder this. I made supper last night with, I made smothered pork chops last night and I threw in, I'll have to scratch and scrunch it just a bit. I threw in a handful of fresh kale from the garden that I just chopped just like this. And I threw in a handful of fresh green beans from the garden. And then I added onions and potatoes. And Howie never once commented on the fact that he actually saw the kale instead of it being powder. I said to him, sorry, honey. You know you're eating kale. Therefore, I'm not going to try and hide it from you anymore. Now, this may not look like enough. And I know I got a huge five-gallon pail, but the problem with that is, is um, I should have harvested my kale a week before. And some of the leaves were big and tough. Somebody also told me that I should... Um, just trim the leaves away from the bottom and leave the kale growing and leave the tough stuff on the top and that way it's a continual harvest. We will see. So. This was an entire stock pot full of de-stemmed and shredded kale. Whole stock pot in one less than a quart jar. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying this is solid nutrition, huge power food, but in a little package. Take care. God bless.